the bottom of uh, Hubble coming into view through the uh, remote manipulator systems end effector camera. This same view uh, uh, seen through one of the closed circuit televisions uh, up on the flight deck uh, of Atlantis. Commander Scott Altman uh, carefully positioning um, Atlantis uh, within uh, 35 feet or so of the uh, telescope. And at that point, uh, Megan MacArthur will uh, maneuver the robotic arm over the grapple pin to uh, secure Hubble uh, to the shuttle's robotic arm. The equipment uh, section uh, coming into view with the aft shroud of the telescope. Uh, behind those doors are the rate sensor units, essentially the gyroscopes that uh, control uh, the telescope's uh, attitude. The uh, white area, the uh, wide field planetary camera 2 uh, location, that uh, camera will be swapped on the first spacewalk of the mission, replaced with a new improved wide field camera three. And just above that coming into view the forward shell of the telescope, the various uh, equipment bays that uh, provide all of the electronics packages uh, for the telescope. And the grapple fixture uh, now in view. Megan MacArthur now uh, repositioning the uh, shuttle's robotic arm to align with the grapple fixture on the telescope. Uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis, uh, all of its thruster jets have been inhibited. It's in free drift. And uh, Megan MacArthur uh, moving in for the final uh, few feet uh, for grapple of Hubble for the first time uh, since its deploy 
uh, following STS-109 back in March 2002. Houston, Atlantis. Hubble has arrived on board Atlantis with the arm. Atlantis, Houston, we copy. Nice job, uh, Megan. Nice job on the Proxop flying as well. It's great to be back with the telescope. Thank you, Houston. Appreciate the support getting us here. Uh, Atlantis Houston, uh, we're still verifying that the HST to drift command took. Uh, we'll have words for you in just a moment. Okay, thanks, Dan. Everybody's uh, very excited up here, I can tell you.